Alright folks, how are we doing? It's Shabash and welcome back to the channel, it's Orna again. Today we're starting off the Orna speedrunning community event thing and uh, I just thought we'd uh, start this off. I think Orna, the Dungeons and Gauntlets uh, feature is quite good for speedrunning so I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. I've been trying to film this for a couple of days and uh, I haven't lasted longer than uh, 64 floors or something like that. So the plan was originally to go up to 100 floors. I'm going to go in hard mode endless but Obviously we can make categories for builds, classes, etc. No, no build swapping, no pet swapping. But for this one I'm going to do build swapping. And we'll start the timer as we load the dungeon and end it as we get the victory screen on uh, floor 100. So the build I'm going to be running with is uh, Realm Shift of Charmer. I'm going to buff up with Gilgamesh and then uh, swap out. I've got a few failed attempts, I'll probably clip them in later. I don't know if you crit, it is a bit slower. Doesn't matter, game over. Mimi, tu viens? Thomas, oh. Ah, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Haven't seen any hydras yet. There we go. How much health is it? 245. I think we need to use lightning affinity. Now let's uh, see if we can get past level 44 I think was our maximum last night which didn't really... wasn't the goal. And we fucked it again. Alright folks, there's been a slight change in plan. We're gonna go with non-hard mode endless dungeon to try and set a benchmark, try and get this video out there because we've wasted uh, two or three days trying to get to floor 100 on uh, hard mode endless and we obviously need more practice because we, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to reach floor 100 right here, right now. Realm Shifter Charmer buffing up with Gilgamesh and uh, let's see how we get on. Um, I'm going to keep Fei Yeti out to try and get the Prism Wall proc. And then I'm probably going to swap to Orichalcum Golem for the Ward Recovery. So. Okay, zoom out so we can actually see the dungeon. Endless, right. And, uh... Alright, so we're starting as soon as we can see the dungeon floor. Okay, go. Oh, it didn't start. Okay. Again, not the cleanest of starts. Never mind. Okay, buffing up with... Uh, Crystallis and uh, as Gilgamesh we got the Prism Wall which is super nice sometimes Fayette he does like to take his time to cast that so we're gonna swap to Orichalcum Golem straight away we've already got pretty much everything we need from here we're just gonna Divine Bastion and uh, then switch out into Realm Shifter Need to get rid of all my pets to be more efficient. Okay, we're about a minute in. Buffing up, that seems to be roughly what we were doing with the other runs as well. Okay, so we're going to keep it simple. We've not got the Berserk buff from Chimera or any of the other Berserk buffs from uh, Raider, etc. We were trying that out yesterday and the day before. <laughs> Did nothing really work, so we're going to redline. In resurgence with Realm Shifter Charmer, and uh, because we've got the use of items this time round, we're in a much better place. We can we don't need to worry about managing our mana as much as before, so we can basically stay in resurgence range for much longer. And what's my hand? Okay, we could use one more. I probably. I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm gonna stay at 1000 health, it gives us a small buffer if we get dotted up. But uh, obviously we can go down a bit further. And again, let's see how far we get. 
if we don't make it to 400 this time, I'm probably just gonna pack this video in and revisit it after I finish the main, all the other main guides because it's taking way too much time. Yeah, Warriors Pavane is uh, pretty savage. We do have uh, Tricut as well. So our hardest, uh, well, our deepest penetrating skills are going to be Viper Strike 2 and the Attack Button. So we might have to use them for Berserks later on. Let's see if we can get some more out of this. Okay. Tricut doing round 50k damage, so 2-9 mobs, perfect for Tricut, at this stage anyway. Uh, we faced the Berserk and then killed him in our last run, uh, destroyed us. Don't know how we managed to get past it. Right. So uh, currently we can still take down the Arisen Hydras with one hit. I'm not sure how long that will last. We're kind of praying that we don't meet any berserk arisen hydras, uh, just to set just just to set this benchmark, get it out of the way. There's so much RNG involved in uh, in these runs. That's, in my opinion, what makes it perfect for uh, speed running. Like every run is different. Everybody's gonna have uh, good runs and bad runs and amazing runs. So the possibilities are, you know, obviously there. Breaking it down by tier by build, by class, etc, etc. You know, there's a big scope for this. Let me know if you guys are, are keen for more videos like this and uh, also give it a try yourselves. I want to see what you guys can, can manage. Try and beat my score, my time. Shouldn't be too hard. And uh, yeah, pretty keen to get something uh, started, something semi-official. If uh, anyone, if anyone, if anyone's keen to to get involved with uh, recording, just feel free to reach out. Let's uh, start something up. First, I need to get to floor 100 and set a, set a benchmark for the people. Double edge also is highly penetrating. Perfect shot gonna damage him? Yeah. Perfect shot will uh, last us maybe halfway, maybe to floor 60 or 70, and then the damage really drops off. Really bad uh, penetration, so. Warriors Bavain, on the other hand, gonna last a while. That miss is annoying. Can't use attack button. But we can use super mana pushing. Right, 56. Oh shit. Yeah. I played it safe and kind of got shafted for it against this collect. Double edge back down into resurgence. Same story. Okay, Fallen Tyrannus shouldn't have like the paralyzed. Alright, we're gonna play safe, we're gonna play safe, we're gonna use Cure All. That should cure the paralysis. We also have Wisp Seal with us this time. The Wisp Seal, I've got it there mainly for dots, like things like Rot and Poison. If you miss, and you're like low in Resurgence, uh, you're, you're done. Like 200 health and you're done. So, playing it super safe, getting a score on the board. That's what this run is all about. So I've got Briny Pendant on because uh, with these new Arisen Dragon Bosses as well at tier 10, they, you can get Blight pretty easily and, and Blight's just so annoying, so annoying. It just seems to prevent, it just seems to stop you missing turns, it just seems to get you to, can't speak, it seems to prevent you from attacking more often than uh, anything else. 
just anecdotal. And it's not cured by a cure-all, I think. So, okay, save some mana. We're actually low on, uh, do you know what? We're low on war turns, which is super annoying. So Auric Alchem Golem needs to start actually working. Good thing I noticed that. Okay, Viper Strike will give us an extra turn and we're gonna have to keep using Viper Strike here. What's this Auric Alchem? What is this Golem doing? We need to Divine Bastion. That's not what we, we don't need. Okay, he finally used something. You need to fire this golem. Do your job, man. He's got one job. Okay, thank god I didn't miss. But we're still we're on really low war turns. I'm going to Divine Bastion here. Should have brought Fortify. 3 or something like that. Floor 80, come on. Surely he can cast a few pieces of board. Yes, 20 turns. I don't really want to use Sorty because I don't necessarily want to crit. Okay, 15 turns of ward now, that should last us. Floor 100, what are we on? We're almost in 10 minutes. Berserk Anubis, right at the back end. Warriors Pavain still doing damage at this resurgence, and uh, yeah, Whew. keep him down. 14 turns left, right, 9 minutes. We're not going to make 9 minutes, which was. Uh, sorry, we're not going to make 10 minutes, which was, which was kind of the goal at the start. But uh, we're not going to be too far off, actually, which is pretty cool. I'm going to mana push him now. We're in a really good spot here. Alright, 11 floors left. Ooh. Ring of Ammon would have been nice there, but we didn't need it in the end. A Risen Ring or Nick? Alright, there's 10 minutes. Should do 11 minutes here. Oh shit. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. Okay. I'm gonna Wisp Seal. Oh, clutch Wisp Seal, man. Frozen and Paralyzed, we get through it. Burning as well. Okay, Viper Strike. Perfect shot should hopefully do damage here. Seven more floors. What do we do? Do we double edge? Uh, okay, we don't don't need double edge yet. Right, we'll double edge this guy. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Hopefully, we one shot the rest of these mobs. Come on, we're gonna set an actual target here for you guys. Oh, oh, that was a nice roll. Oh, we didn't kill him though. Ah, try cut. All right, they don't have any defense, obviously. Oh god, I, I stopped the record button. I stopped recording. Okay, four nine nine. Here we go. This is the final four. Oh, the perfect, the perfect novel. Yes! Finally, we made it! We posted a score, 11 minutes, 26, roughly. And that was, uh, we just had a technical issue there. I stopped recording on my phone, so again, we wasted like five, five seconds there. But listen, we posted a score, 100 floors, 11 minutes, 26, we'll call it there. But there we go, right, so I want to see what you guys can do. 100 floors, I don't care what tier, I don't care what build. Right now, we're doing endless non-hard mode dungeons can you beat 11 minutes 26 
89 milliseconds. Let's see it. I want to see it. Ah, and if you didn't notice, we've uh, set up a uh, cat cam there, but uh, there's no cat on the desk. There's one on my lap. I'm, I'm not going to move him right now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Shabash. See you in the next video. Ciao. Holding back this time, we're going to make sure we're fully buffed to the max. We're taking Chimera as well. So we're going to have uh, Gilgamesh Charma with the Berserk buff from Chimera. Then we're going to swap out to...